the Lower Danube Green Corridor. The Danube's greatest riches lie on its lower reaches. After squeezing through the iron gates between Serbia and Romania, the river flows untethered for 1,000 kilometers through Romania, Bulgaria, Moldova and Ukraine before spilling into the Black Sea. Here the natural dynamics of the river have formed and reformed nearly 200 islands that are home to rich floodplain ecosystems. The islands are important elements of the Danube migration corridor, stepping stones for fish, fowl and other fauna, as well as flora on their journeys up and down the river. The Danube's greatest jewel is its delta, Europe's largest remaining natural wetland area and among the 200 most valuable ecological areas on Earth. It is a globally important breeding, feeding and resting area for birds, including pygmy cormorants and red-breasted geese. Giant beluga sturgeon and other fish use the area for spawning and feeding. These natural treasures have long provided local livelihoods from fish to fowl, reeds to recreation. More recently, we have begun to recognize the importance of the Danube wetlands for flood management, water purification, as well as carbon sequestration. Recognizing the importance of this unique heritage, in 2000, the governments of Romania, Bulgaria, Moldova and Ukraine signed an agreement to establish a green corridor along the river's final 1,000 kilometers. It was and is the most ambitious wetland protection and restoration initiative in Europe, calling for the protection of nearly 1 million hectares of floodplains and for the restoration of over 224,000 hectares of former wetland areas. Ten years on, the target for protection has been even exceeded, with well over 1 million hectares of wetland areas along the lower Danube under some form of formal protection. Progress with restoration is further behind, but moving forward with well over 60,000 hectares realized to date, including former floodplain forests and wetlands on Belen Island in Bulgaria, or the lower Danube islands from Kalarash to Braila in Romania. In Moldova, large sections of the lower Prut have been brought under protection and management plans are being prepared. While in the Danube Delta in Romania, dry and unproductive land on the major islands of Babina and Chernovka have been returned to the river. On the Ukrainian side of the delta, authorities and NGOs have worked hand in hand to develop a vision for the protection and restoration of the wetland areas and have taken steps towards its realization. Bulldozers have breached dikes on Tataru and Ermakov islands, reconnecting former wetlands to the life-giving river. In what was once little more than a barren wasteland, pike and perch now thrive attracting anglers and new hopes for local livelihoods. Over the past 10 years, the Lower Danube Green Corridor has become not just a corridor linking nature, but also people. Local authorities, farmers and fishermen, tourism operators and small business owners from across the four countries have come together to share their experience and explore ways of profiting from while protecting their natural riches. Ten years on, the creation of the Lower Danube's Green Corridor is very much a work in progress. Much has already been achieved to realize the remarkable vision, and much yet remains to be done, for the benefit of nature and for the benefit of people. The Lower Danube's Green Corridor. Connecting nature, connecting people.